Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared to for here bringing you another Minecraft World War 1 tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Abyss Da 305-17. The Abyss Da 305-17 was an Italian howitzer, sometimes classified as a mortar, used during World War 1. Produced by the Armstrong Works in Italy between 1914 and 1917, approximately 3, 30 to 44 were built. Originally the Abyss Da 305-17 Modelo 15 was a stationary coastal defense gun, but the later adapted to a mobile siege artillery role. A number also served during World War II. The version we have in front of us here is the Abista 305-17DS. Now these guns here were basically the pinnacle of the variants of the gun, and a very strange one at that. The guns were mounted on the same the Stefano carriage for the land use, and resulting guns were classified by their size in millimeters. 305, their length and caliber 17, and lastly by their carriage type DS, which differ D Stefano. The Di Stefano carriage was a clever but strange looking monstrosity, which looks like something out of a child's four wheeled toy horse with the gun when the gun barrel was elevated. The carriage was a large four wheel box trail designed with two non steerable wheels on the front and two cast air castering wheels at the rear. The wheels were fitted in detachable grousers designed by Major Crispano um, Bonguete for traction on soft ground and were towed in one piece by Pavlovsky Tor Torlorti artillery tractor. When on the move, the grousers were removed and the steel wheels rose on an inclined set of steel wheels when in the firing position. The steel wheels were mounted on a firing platform made of wooden beams which allowed the gun 360 degrees of traverse. When the gun uh, fired, recoiled, which was not absorbed by the recoil mechanism, was transmitted to the wheels, and the carriage rolled up the incline rails and then rolled back into the firing position. The box trail cartridge was tall and wide enough that the breech of the gun was accessible at high angles of elevation without a pit being dug and the crew had a bucket and hoist for ammunition handled. So yeah, a uh, really interesting gun here. This thing is a beast of a gun um absolutely huge 305 millimeters translates to a 12 inch gun so this thing is a monster uh the version we have in front of us as i mentioned is the ds now this version here was not a stationary one or one that was highly or uh, was uh designed to be basically a stationary emplacement this was designed to be moved around quite often and you can see here it's got these giant carriers that the gun sits on with these wheels now we have both versions in front of us. We have the deployed version and we also have the uh, transit mo uh, version. The main difference you're gonna see here between these is that the transit uh, version has a different set of wheels on it. And we're gonna talk about those a little bit later. Um, and that's what I was talking about when I was mentioning the grousers. Those, which are, those were used to kind of give it a little more traction, especially in the muddy um, terrain that was World War I. The gun we have here is more of the in-station ready to fire one. As you can see, the grousers are removed from the wheels, so they're just their standard wheels, and it is set on a track here, um, or basically the recoil system track here. Now, technically, this would sit at a bit of an incline, but due to the, you know, Minecraft and all that stuff, we do have it just sitting completely flat. But the same kind of, you know, concept is still here with it. So we have the track here. We have uh, obviously the carriage, the wheels here. Um, we have the inside here, which allows the crew to operate, um, store ammunition, be able to load the gun, and all that stuff. And again, we have this deep pit right here, which allows the gun its uh, ability to elevation and still be accessible to uh, reload and rearm and all that. And then uh, to the side here, we have the hoist system here with the uh, chains and stuff like that to hoist ammunition into the uh, gun itself. Um, so yeah, pretty cool design here for both these. Again, these are both... Uh, we have both the deployed and the uh, transit version of these guns, so you can definitely put these into some cool uh, scenarios. Anyway, so let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first part. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first part of our tutorial, we'll be going ahead and starting with building the tracked system. Now if you do want to build this uh, gun without the tracked system, then you're more than not more than available to, just go ahead and skip ahead into the video. There are going to be timestamps in the video. It's going to be split into segments to cover each layer and each part of the tutorial separately. So feel free to look in the description for the timestamps or just look at the video, um, basically time bar, and you can scroll to wherever you need to go. But this is going to be for the stationary one and the one that it's most likely to be in when it's actually set up in a battlefield type state. So to go ahead and kind of get started for this rail system, 
it's a pretty simple design. To begin with, we want to go ahead and take our oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of three like this. We're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block here in the front and then two mossy cobblestone walls back from that. Underneath the mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to be going ahead and placing down green terracotta blocks. We then want to go ahead and take our oak wood. We're going to place down a row of three of oak wood planks here in the ground going across. And that's going to be coming from those blocks here to both sides. Once we have that done, we want to go and then take our mossy stone brick walls. We're going to go and place down a row of one, two, and three back. And we're going to go and then place down a zombie head on this forward side. After we have that done, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a end rod. We're going to go back from the mossy colors off an end rod and then a row of one, two, and three. More mossy cobblestone walls back on the side here, and then a zombie head like so. On the bottom of these mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down green terracotta blocks like so. Then going ahead and focusing our attention here to the center, we're going to place down a uh, oak wood slab here, an anvil, and then another oak wood slab like so. We're going to go and then go up from the anvil, place down an end rod that comes off of it toward the front there like so, and we want to then place down a oak wood trap door like that coming off the end rod. Also on top of this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a zombie head and then going ahead and going over to this side, and we're going to place down a green terracotta block here and we're going to basically replicate the same design we do over on the air side just over to here. So I'm going to go and do the same thing a little bit quicker here. And again, it's the same thing on both sides there. So if you need to, just refer to the air side if I uh, do go a little too fast for you. And on the side here, just hook with slap like that across. After that, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head here on this green terracotta block as well. With that all done, uh, that's going to do it there for the front. We're going to go and work our way back. So from this mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, and six more walls. So in total, this row of mossy cobblestone walls, we have a total of 11 so far. And underneath these blocks, we want to go and very simply place down green terracotta blocks underneath these. And this can go all the way along the bottom here, like so. And going over here, we're going to do the same exact thing. So just like this. And right there, we'll do it for our, our system there. We then want to place down another green terracotta block here to both sides. And we're going to then place down a row of green terracotta blocks across the center here, and then a oak wood slab to both sides. So just like this. And we're also going to place down a zombie head here on these green terracotta blocks. After that's done, we want to go and then take our mossy cobblestone walls, going back from the blocks on the side. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Back, and we're going to do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're going to then place down a row of five green terracotta across, oak wood slab on both sides, and also one slab going forward next to that wall on both sides there. Underneath our mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down green terracotta blocks. And same thing over here. Once we have that done, on the inside here, we just want to take our oak wood planks and place down a, or oak wood slab, sorry, and place a row across the center there. And we're going to then place down a zombie head here on these two green terracotta blocks here. And then we want to take our dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs across the side there. And with that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for uh, the track system or the rail system that the gun will sit on. And basically from here on out, we're going to be basically building the gun up. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and move into our gun. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our gun itself, and this is going to be layer 1 of the gun. Now for layer 1, what we want to do here is we're going to go ahead and start with our wheels. Now, I do want to mention that if you are building this, um, not in the deployed stance, so not on this track system, then you will want to make sure that you basically build this wheel here on the ground, like so. We're going to be building this system on the tracks, um, to begin with, just because it, you know, is kind of the main format that uh, I do recommend putting the gun on but if you are building this just make sure that you're building this on the ground with the wheels and stuff like that. Anyways to go ahead and get started with we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair which can be on top of this mossy cobblestone wall and a green terracotta block directly behind it with another stair like that. We then want to go ahead and go over the other side here place down a green terracotta block dark oak wood upside down stair and an air stair coming off that block like that toward the front there. We're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood top side we're going to place down three rows of three going across in between our uh, stairs and full blocks. We're going to do another row of three of dark oak wood 
uh, top slabs across. We're going to then place down a dark oak with top slab here in the center, and then a dark oak with ups downstairs to both sides. Now, if you are building the version that is deployed, uh, or basically in the toad version, you're going to go and place down top slabs here to both sides instead. But since this is on the rail system, we are going to go and place down a top slab, or an upside down stair there to both sides, which should connect up to those zombie heads uh, in a way. Once that's done to the side here, we're going to go and place down a dark oak with fence gate, and this is going to be the same for both the toad and deployed version. And we're going to place down a dark oak with sign, which is going to be coming off the side of the stair like that. Same thing over here as well. With that all done, we then want to go ahead and go back to... Or grab some blocks that we can easily differentiate from the rest of the build. So for this, I'll just use some yellow concrete, as uh, we're just going to be using these to count. We're going to go to go to the center here, top side. We're going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 blocks back. And we want to go ahead and actually go, sorry, eight blocks back. And we're going to then go out to the side, one block. And we're going to then place down a dark oak up down stair. So again, we have a center line here of what is going to be eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then on our eighth block here, we're going to go one out to the side. And uh, then we're going to go and place down a dark oak stair coming off that like that. After that, we're going to go then place down a green terracotta block coming off the backs here of those stairs, and then a dark oak with ups downstairs coming off the backs of those blocks just like that. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up this layer where you can go ahead and delete any excess uh, blocks that we placed or anything like that. And this is how it should um, basically look. Uh, this will be basically the same across the way besides those stairs there for both the... Um, on the rail system and also the toad system. So anyways, that right there is going to do it for layer one. Let's move on to layer number two. All right, guys, moving into layer number two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of this upside down stair. Same thing over here on this side. And we want to go ahead and place down a green shulker box coming off of it or on its side like that in the middle between those two blocks. Uh, we can go and then take a dark oak button and place it down on the side of this block. We're going to do the same thing over here to the other side. So just like that to both sides here and again a dark oak wood button. After we have that done, we want to go and then place down a mossy cobblestone wall, come off those two shulker boxes and a green terracotta block there in the center. Come off that green terracotta block, we're going to place down a zombie head and then we're also going to place down a mossy stone brick wall on top of these two, or on the sides there of those two blocks, like so for the front. With that done, go ahead and grab our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a second row of three across, a third row, and then a fourth row across like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak with fence gate, which can be on the side of this green terracotta block, and just like we did before, a dark oak with sign on the side of it. We're going to grab dark oak with buttons, and on the sides of these two green, green terracotta blocks, we're going to place down dark oak with buttons. Same thing over here to this side as well, so just like that. And also, let's not forget our dark oak with sign. After that, we're going to take our dark oak with stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of ups and down stairs, followed by a row of three of dark oak with top slabs. Going to the back here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of these dark oak with stairs. We're going to place down a green shulker box on its side, in the center here. So just like this, two both sides there. And then we're going to place down a dark oak button, which is going to be coming off the block, like so. And once we have that done, we're going to take our mossy cobblestone walls and do a row of three across in between those shulker boxes. And then we want to go and go one back on both sides. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap it up there for what we have for layer number uh, two for the build. One thing I also want to cover is if you are building this on the rails, um, one thing to mention here is that you can take dark oak trap doors and place them down on top of all these mossy cobblestone walls now. Um, you can also change the position of the gun, so if you want to have the gun look like it just fired, you could have it screwed back on the tracks a little bit further. Uh, probably something I should have mentioned a little bit earlier in the tutorial. Um, but again, those are an option for you guys. And again, we're just going to be adding these dark oak trap doors wherever we can on top of these mossy cobblestone walls for the railed version. Anyways, once we have that done, that is going to wrap up layer two, and let's go ahead and move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak with stair on top of these two green terracotta blocks like this for the front here. Green terracotta block back from the stair, and then a dark oak with stair on both sides, like so. After that, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our green terracotta, and we're going to go ahead and place down, or sorry, actually, it's going to be a row of three of upside down dark oak with stairs between those dark oak, or those green terracotta blocks and we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak with trap door on the side of these stairs and have them opened up like this to cover up the side like that from the outside. In the center here we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod on top of this green zombie head like so. After that we're going to go ahead and then take green terracotta we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across the back there like so 
actually sorry it's gonna be a uh block on both sides we're gonna leave the middle space open we could place a mossy cobblestone wall there if we uh do want to so that we can do that after that uh we want to go and then grab a dark oak with trap door and we're going to place down one and two trap doors like this opened up to the sides so just like that and we're going to go and then grab ourselves a lever we're going to place down a lever here on the side of the first trap door here and we want to go and then grab ourselves a fence gate and we're going to place down a fence gate coming off this second uh trap door and a dark oak fence gate coming off like that to continue this ladder that goes up the side of the gun once we have that done we're going to take a green terracotta we're going to place down a row of three across and we want to go then follow this up by a second row of three, a third row, and then a fourth row of three going across. We're going to go then take our uh, zombie heads. We're going to place down a zombie head here on both sides of the build. So just like that. And then over here on the left side and the left side only, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. Or uh, mossy stone brick wall. And then over here on the right side, we're just going to place down a row of three of dark goku buttons. And then over here, we're just going to place down two dark goku buttons like that. So uh, there is a difference there on both sides, and this is going to be basically for our crane here, um, for the the gun. After that, we're going to go and then take our dark liquid stairs, place on a row of three across of upside down stairs, and then we want to go and then take our slabs, and we're going to place down a row of three of top slabs across as well. Once we have that done, we're going to come back to this section here for the wheels. We're going to place down a green terracotta block on top of our shulker boxes, and then a dark liquid stair on top of these green terracotta blocks here to both sides. After that, uh, we want to go and then take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three on top of these mossy cobblestone walls here. And then along the back side here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides and a dark oak top slab there in the center. We also want to take a dark oak sign in on the sides of these walls here. We're going to place down dark oak signs just like that. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number three for the build. And here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like so far. Anyways, that right there is it for layer three. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number four. All right guys, go ahead and move it into our next layer. We have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get the tower with here, we're gonna go to the front. We're gonna place down a row of three of green terracotta blocks above the space like so. And we're gonna take dark oakwood buttons and wrap them around the two corner blocks, just like that on both ends. Once we have that done, we're gonna place down one and two green shulker box here in the center. And then we're gonna place down two shulker boxes that are green on their sides like that to the outside. With that done, we're gonna then take our dark oakwood trap doors we're going to place down there two trap doors on top of these two and have them opened up like that to the side. Same thing over here. And we want to go and then grab ourselves iron trap doors and on top of the end, or the uh, lever here and this dark oak fence key, we're going to place down two iron trap doors there for a little catwalk on the side of the gun. After that's done, we want to go and then take our shulker boxes. We're going to place down two shulker boxes here on its side. Two both sides like that, a green terracotta block in the center. One more green terracotta block back and again a shulker box on both ends. We then want to go and take an end rod. We're going to place down an end rod on top of this zombie head here to both sides. And then go ahead and go into this section here. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate, which is going to, or dark oak fence post, sorry, which is going to go on top of this mossy stone brick wall. And this is going to be on the left side and the left side only. Over here on the right side, we're just going to leave, or actually, we're going to place down a dark oak button on the side of the shulker box. After that, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three across. Followed by a second row of three, a third row, a fourth, fifth, and six. So six rows of three. And we're going to then take our dark oak buttons and run a row of dark oak buttons here along the side of the gun. Once we have that done, on the back here, we're going to place down a dark oak up down stair. Two both sides here. We're going to then place down a dark oak top slab in between the stairs. And then coming off that dark oak top slab, we're going to place down a green terracotta block. After that's done, on the backs here of these dark oak stairs, we're going to then place down a dark oak button on both sides, just like that. And once that's all complete there, um, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for uh, layer 4. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number 5. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 5. For layer 5, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to take mossy cobbles to walls. We're going to place down a row 3 across the front here. We're going to go then take a dark oak wood trap door, and we're going to place it down and come off the side here of this wall. Same thing over here, this side as well. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three across, a dark oak button to both sides. And we want to go and then place down a um, mossy cobblestone wall here in the center. And then a green shulker box coming off both sides of that stone brick wall, like that. 
We're gonna go ahead and grab a zombie head and we're gonna place down a zombie head here on both sides of the sugar box, like so. Once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and then take a dark oak trapdoor. We're gonna place down two trapdoors on top of these two right here. So just like we did before on both sides here. Over here on the left side, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate. So right here. We're gonna place it down coming off this trapdoor. And we want to go and then grab ourselves a oak wood trapdoor. And coming off that fence gate, we're gonna place down a oak wood trapdoor. And this is going to be on the left side and the left side only. Also, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor coming off this one, like so. Over here on the right side, uh, we don't really have anything going on here. So for this, we're just going to very simply place down two dark oak wood trapdoors on the side of these ones and close them, like so. On top of this end rod here, we're going to place down one more end rod that goes up. And then uh, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trapdoor on these two sugar boxes to open up to the sides. So just like this. And these shulker boxes as well, again, opened up to both sides. Now, once we have that done, over here on the left side, we're going to place down a zombie head coming off this trap door like so. And we want to go and then place down a mossy stone brick wall going up from this fence post. And that's going to be on the left side only. Over here on the right side, we just have that trap door uh, left open. And we can just go ahead and place down a dark wood trap door coming off the side of it like so. After that's done, we're going to grab stone pressure plates. We're going to place down two pressure plates here in the center. We're going to then do a row of three, followed by a second row of three, a third row, a fourth, and that right there is going to be basically the platform here for the gun crew to stand on. To the sides here of those uh, pressure plates, we're going to place down four dark oak trap doors and close them like so, and the same thing over here as well. After that's complete, we want to go and then take our dark oak wood slabs here, and, or sorry, our green terracotta blocks. And we're going to place down one, two, three, green terracotta blocks across here, and then another set of three. On both sides here of those rows of three, we're going to place down dark oak wood trapdoors. And then on the very back here, we're just going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood stairs, and then a zombie hit on top of this green terracotta block here on the very back, like so. And with that all done, that right there is going to complete what we have there for layer number uh, four for the build, or sorry, actually layer number five. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number six. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 6. For layer 6, to go ahead and get started with you here, we're going to go and place down a mossy cobblestone wall, or mossy stone brick wall on top of these two stone brick walls to both sides like so. We then want to go and skip a space coming off these, and we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab here in the center. And then to both sides here, we're just going to go and grab iron trap doors and place down two iron trap doors going forward like so. After that's done, we're going to then go back to this section here, we're going to place down a uh, polished DNS light, block to both sides here, a stone button, a item frame, and then a polished DNS light block in the item frame, like so. And same thing over here as well, like that. We're going to then place down a green terracotta block in the center in between those. We then want to place down a green terracotta block here in the center, this time followed by a dark liquid stair on both ends. We're going to then place down a green terracotta block here in the center, and this time with a zombie head coming off both sides, like so. Now, once we get to this point, on top of this end rod right here, we're going to place down a, or actually, sorry, we're going to go and place down a block right here. We're going to place down a zombie head coming off of it, and then we're going to delete this block and on the inside here, come off that zombie head. We're going to place down another one like that for the railing here on the side. For our crane, we're going to go ahead and continue to take this up by placing down a dark oak fence post on top of this mostly stone brick wall. And with that done, going to the rear here, we're just going to go and take our dark oak slabs, and we're going to go and place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs and a row of three of daylight detectors. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, six for the build. And with that, let's go ahead and move into uh, layers seven and eight. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our last final layers here. To begin with, we'll be going ahead and grabbing a green terracotta block, and we're going to place it down uh, on top of this dark oak top slab. We then want to place down two more green terracotta blocks going forward, and fall by one, two, three, four, five and six in total. So uh, we have a total here from this slab forward, a total of nine blocks long. We're gonna go ahead and place down a dark oak with trap door around the four sides of the last block here. We're gonna place down an item frame and then a black stained glass uh, pane in the item frame like that for the tip there of the barrel. On top of these, uh, the second and third green terracotta blocks here, we're gonna place down two iron trap doors. And we also wanna place down iron trap doors here to the side. 
Now, if you do have access to a debug stick in Minecraft, we're going to be going ahead and using that for this um, scenario. So we're going to go ahead and give ourselves a debug stick and we'll be able to use this to close the trap doors. Now, I don't think all, all versions of Minecraft have access to this. So if you do not have access to it, you can go ahead and instead of using um, the dark oak wood or using these trap doors, you can go ahead and use um, dark oak wood. So that, that's an alternative for you guys on the tip there. But it seems from many pictures, it was kind of like an actual exposed metal type color around this uh, section of the barrel. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and place down a dark oak slab on top of this green terracotta block and then a mossy colors the wall to both ends of it, just like so. After that's done, we wanna go ahead and place down a narrow green terracotta block here in the center and then a mossy cobblestone the wall again to both sides. We're gonna go ahead and take our green terracotta, we're gonna place down a green terracotta block in the center and on the left side, left side only, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upstairs stair like that. Over here on the right side, it's going to be a mossy cobblestone wall. We're going to go then place down a narrow green terracotta block in the center, mossy cobblestone or mossy stone brick wall to both ends, and we want to go and then place down a green shulker box coming out that center block, and then again a mossy stone brick wall to both ends. On the back here, we're going to place down a zombie head coming off the shulker box, and we want to go then grab a dark oak wood fence gate and place it down come off the right side of the skull like so. We're going to go ahead and have that opened up and we're going to place down a dark oak sign on the side of that fence gate. We then also want to go and grab ourselves a oak wood trap door and there's going to be an oak wood trap door here on the side of this mossy stone brick wall there on the right side. After that's done to the top of the gun we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block after that slab followed by one and two more blocks. Over here on the left side we're going to place down a zombie head, a mossy stone brick wall, and then a narrow zombie head. Over here on the right side, it's going to be a row three of zombie heads coming off the side of those blocks. On the back here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence game. Have it opened toward the rear. We're going to go then place down a dark oak wood trap door coming off this fence gate, and then to both sides of it, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign. So one sign here, and then another over here on this side, like so. And once we have that all complete, that's going to basically do it for our gun mechanism. Now when it comes to the crane here, uh, this is something you can kind of pick and choose on what you guys want to do here. Now, the crane design for obviously if this is in the kind of on those tracks here in a gun type position is to have the crane kind of out to the side here so they can easily hoist up artillery rounds. However, if you do have this thing in the toad mode, uh, which we'll be covering here shortly, uh, we do want to make sure that this crane is not really sticking out as it wouldn't make much sense. So if you are building this in the toad mode, you're going to go ahead and basically place a dark oak stair like this. Above that stair, we're going to place down two dark oak slabs. We're going to go ahead and place down two grindstones, a item frame, a green terracotta block, and a dark oak sign like so. And that's going to basically do it there for the crane. And this is for the toad mode. If you do want to have this in the kind of gunning format and out to the side here. I'm going to do the same concept, but we're going to build this out to the side. So we're going to delete this, place a dark oak stair, dark oak slab that goes up from the stair, second uh, slab out, and we want to go and then go to the bottom here, two grindstones, like so, dark oak sign, item frame, and a green terracotta block. And that right there is going to basically do it there for that crane. And so you have two options there for what you want to do. Um, obviously you can mix and match, so if you want to have the toad version with the one crane out, or if you want to have the deployed version with the crane in, up to you guys and what you guys want to do for it. Um, completely leaving that up to you guys and um, all that. But that's going to be basically be the crane here and um, all that. And we're going to cover the two uh, different formats for the crane and all the kind of like chains and stuff like that for it um, here in a sec. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into covering the chains. We're going to cover them and how to position them for both the arm sticking out to the side and also the arm hanging out to the side. So we're going to start off with the deployed version with the arm out to the side here. We're going to cover these chains. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and go down from this grindstone here. The first one, we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, and six chains down like that. Our Next line is going to come off of this uh, chain here. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull and then go down from it. One, two, three chains down like that. Our next two chains are going to come off of this grindstone here. We're going to place down a chain that comes down from it. One, two, three, four, five, and we're going to stop at five. And then we're going to go behind this, place down a wither skeleton skull, 
and they go down one, two, three, four. So just like that. And then on the bottom here, we're just going to go ahead and place down two wither skeleton skulls, which kind of come off uh, of each other like that on the bottom there. And that right there is going to basically do it for chains for the um, kind of in gunning position version. Now for the transport version, obviously we don't want the chains dangling all the way down, so we're going to have them kind of flow and kind of tie up here to this. So very simple for this, all we're going to do is basically place, delete this button, place the wither skeleton skull here, um, a chain that's going to go up, so we're going to go ahead and actually delete this dark oak trapdoor, move it one in, and we're going to do the same thing over here as well. Or actually, sorry, we don't need to do the same thing on that side, that's, that side we're not going to touch, but we're just going to do it on this side. We're going to place down a chain on top of it, and then one more chain that flows up like this, and then we're just going to place down a uh, wither skeleton skull coming off to connect up to that one right there. So those are our chains, they just kind of come down and they're tied here, um, so that they aren't just, you know, waving around and all that stuff. Um, so that's right there is it for both of our versions here for our cranes. And now the last thing we have to do is the deployed version is complete. We're going to go ahead and cover how to turn the toad one into the toad version. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and move into the toad version. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our toad version. For our toad version, we have basically something that looks like this, and we're just going to go ahead and modify it into what we need it to be. To begin with, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a zombie head on top of it, and then a zombie head coming off the sides here of these green terracotta blocks. And we're going to delete these dark Google buttons here on the front wheels. We then want to take trap doors, and we're going to go ahead and wrap them around the sides that we can on these um, stairs like so. Uh, we will have to delete this dark Google button here. And we're going to do the same thing here. Unfortunately, we have this lever here, which we're not going to delete on this side, but we can also place a trap door on the bottom here. And the blocks underneath these stairs here, we're just going to replace with green terracotta, like so. So what this does here, it kind of adds this extra kind of layer that goes around our wheels here, which basically was used to give the um, gun a little bit more traction. Same thing for the back wheels here. So we're going to start for trap doors. Again, delete any buttons that might be in our way. And we're going to just do the same thing all the way around the blocks we can. And zombie heads here. Uh, also, we're going to delete that button and have our zombie heads like that. So basically, we get our wheels that look like this. They're a little bit more squared off and all that stuff. Um, so that right there is it for our wheels. Now for the hitch itself. So this right here is what you can tra attach up to tractors and stuff like that to have it um, towed around. For this, we're going to go and delete this zombie head, green terracotta block, dark oak top slabs, signs, and mossy cobblestone walls. We get something that looks like this. We're going to go and go off the mossy cobblestone walls. One more back on both sides. We then want to place down a green terracotta block like so. And we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head coming off both sides of that green terracotta block. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an end rod. And we're going to place down an end rod here in between these mossy stone brick walls. And then after that, we're just going to go ahead and place down a zombie head here on the very end like that for the hitch, which would connect up to um, the tractor, whatever was towing this. And um, you could extend this a little bit too if you do uh, need more space. So it kind of depends on what vehicle you're you know, attach it to you. Uh, we can go and place down dark, dark oak top or dark oak fence gate in a zombie head like that to kind of give it a little bit more um, length between the uh, base here and the front there. And that right there's pretty much it. You're just going to take this uh, same design here for the wheels, flip it over to the right side, and you have both wheels done. And then you have this hitch here, and you can attach it up to whatever vehicles you want, or um, just kind of have it hang suspended there, whatever you guys choose to do. Anyways, that right there is going to do it there for our uh, obese. Duh. 305 slash 17 Italian howitzer. Hope you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put to good use. If you do not abuse this build, I do wish you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be a thing from a son of the build to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, uh, your free use for favorite projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. But with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204, and I'll see you guys next time.